head of organizations at Wonderland, and we are collecting since a good 10 years best practices where the community takes over or where we try to uh, plan participative solutions for vacancy or regeneration of urban fields. And our uh, work, we try to publish one of the last uh, publications for funding the cooperative city, which already has uh, 80 projects from all over Europe. Uh, and we don't only uh, concentrate on the architectural solutions, but also how to operate places, how to finance places, and how we can ensure that those projects can be long lasting. One of the projects which we were observing since four or five years is Stara Tržnika in Bratislava uh, in Slovakia. Um, this building was many times empty and uh, it belongs to the city and it was a decaying building because uh, all the renters were doing a kind of renovation and were dividing the historic building and uh, at a point it was not running anymore and the city took the send away the renters and it was empty for a couple of years if you look at the timeline so the building is a very old building built in the in 1910 and um, the troubles started after the 90s the original use of a market was not required anymore so much so all the renters had problems to run this big huge building and in 2011 there was some discussions about how to develop this project or uh, building or how to use this building uh, around an architect there was there were a core group who wanted to um, run this place as a market but also have additional services so in 2011 they started to think about how to use the building and it took three years to sign the contract with the municipality municipality and this is something which we have to consider whenever we do activation especially if it's a long-term activation it needs a process where you develop the the uses the organization structure but also the finances in this specific case uh, the requirement from the city was to keep the building as it was, so as a historic uh, heritage building. So the obligation of the renter was to renovate the place according to the law, according to the heritage laws. And so they were from 2013 until now, they are uh, renovating the building. And in 2017, like four, uh, four years of investment to renovate, the use of the building was financing itself. It uh, had a break even point. So to, to show such a process is taking in many times three to 10 years. So we can slowly talk about profit and so on. So the model, the financial scheme, what was agreed with the city of Bratislava was that the rent is non-existing almost. It's just a symbolic figure of one euro. The renters have to invest 10,000 euros into the building. And after the agreement, I think it stops uh, in those years, they have to find a new uh, agreement when the renovation is already made that they uh, find a new model of financing, like uh, a, a real rent to the city. Those are very important points, especially for the private-owned um, uh, uh, vacancy in Lesa, because if we know what the owner wants to have out of this deal, out of this activation, then it's uh, easier to, to design the process and to think about the uses which could fit into this scheme. My second example is from the Play City project. It's a case study in Oslo in a schoolyard. There, the, there is also a long uh, story behind it. Um, Nabalox Hager is collaborating with the school since a couple of years, and they try to influence the, the students there in a way that they use urban gardening and think about uh, entrepreneurship, how to do 
uh, urban gardening, produce uh, goods, services, and so on. And since last year, they started to work with the students about reorganizing their spaces on the school uh, compound and most importantly the schoolyard because the schoolyard uh, was made in a way like uh, modern architecture with uh, concrete furniture in also where 80% um, of the time you can't use those furniture because it's cold um, and it's also a school for girls mostly and someone decided top down that girls don't like football but they would prefer uh, basketball and those girls want to play football so you have the discrepancy that it's not the lack of the money um, to invest in the school but inappropriate places what the students didn't want and in this project uh, in the first year in the last 12 months there were a lot of interviews and research and map what area what field what furniture um, of this school yard should be improved and or in which direction and in fall this year we will start uh, implementing those uh, decisions so they want to have other furniture they want to have an area where they can sit they are already using the ground floor for all the presentations all the discussions for how to change this schoolyard and as you can see they just to pop up exhibition and discussion forums in the ground level and what they also are going to uh, doing right now actually is bringing the neighboring uh, stakeholders like the small companies in this field cafes and so on because it's important to have the connection to the business world since the school uh, has a high drop out 80 percent of the school students are facing difficulties to finish the school or have appropriate uh, certifications or find a job or a place in at the university after the school time so one uh, spin-off of the project is also to get to know what is around the school to map what kind of services companies and so on are around and how the students can better collaborate make themselves visible and uh, perhaps start also entrepreneurship uh, after this period there are many implementations planned for fall but one of the things is also to change the space for this the school is going to collaborate with artists the markers hub they are um, they have already designed for this kind of furniture and uh, in the school in their free time in the afternoons they will have workshops to build those furniture themselves which can which is totally mobile it can be put away if it's if they are not needed but in a way the students will also build a, a community or an association where which owns the furniture they can be rented out for the public space out of the school also for the stakeholders around the school or for street festivals so it's a kind of uh, starting an entrepreneurship uh, from the school um, and the overall goal is to empower the students to do more, to have a feeling how processes work, how to own things, how to organize things, but also how to build things. And yeah, those are the two projects I will wanted to share with you to give you an input where we think we have to think a little bit more 